we got this cool video from the house in Tennessee. I think it's the house. Um, they are passing the death penalty for child rapists, but this Democrat has some stupid words to say. Check it out. Death penalty is incompatible with the right to life. Let me say that again. The death penalty is incompatible with the right to life. It violates Wrong. the constitutional ban on cruel and unusual punishment Wrong. and guarantees of due process of law and equal protection under Wrong. the law. My question for you, Leader Lamberth, is do you feel the death penalty repairs the harm caused by this unlawful behavior and is informed by what juvenile survivors of this crime Pause mean? it real quick, Micah, Hello, before Mr. he responds. So she, claimed, she made three claims there. She said that it, first of all, violates the right to life. No, you lose your right to life after you become a pedophile and rape children okay you don't have the right to life the right to life is for people who are you know being born and who haven't committed crimes as soon as you become a felon you don't have the same rights as someone who's not a felon for example you can't vote okay you're not allowed to vote okay there's there's things you can't do okay i'm sorry you can't just go to mcdonald's and order a cheeseburger as a felon if you're in jail now once you get out of jail cool you can do that you served your time but you still can't vote there's certain rights that are not allotted to people who do certain crimes and that's a good thing <laughs> okay uh the other thing that she claimed was um uh, i forgot what she claimed but she uh she, oh yeah she said that um that 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 constitutionally it, it it uh cruel and unusual punishment okay cruel and unusual punishment for what like okay what does she believe that the punishment should have been for hitler or stalin or anyone, for that matter, who commits mass murder or mass rapes and mass... I don't know. what. Like, What is the proper punishment for that person? Just to let him sit in the cage all day? Anyway, keep playing it. Lambert, I heard you on the radio. I thank you for working on this bill. I will soon be 69 years old. I was molested and raped by my grandfather starting at the age of six years old and older. He assaulted my mother and her sister. He tried to molest my two-year-old niece and grabbed her away from him and told everyone there he is not going to touch this child. Even at almost 63, this was happening to me. It still bothers me. It never goes away, no matter what age a victim is. Mm. Since he was my grandfather, I would agree to the death penalty even for him. He molested many generations, and this needs to stop because mm. this act to the victims, it never goes away. I support the death penalty against child rapists and child molesters. A child is counted on you to keep the child safe. Thank you, and I hope you get this bill passed. Wow. Absolutely. Pause it real quick. It Let it go. Pause it real quick. Yeah, that, that man, that's, uh, that's powerful, okay? Because this lady just espoused her little liberal talking points, and she just got owned by someone's experience. What a brilliant move by that Republican. What a brilliant move. That is how you just shut it down, Okay. You don't believe that we should have the death penalty for rape, for rapists and pedophiles? Let me give you, let me let me read to you a letter from one of these victims thanking me personally for pushing forward this bill. Wow, that that is amazing. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Florida did something where uh, rapists get the death penalty. I think uh, th don't misquote me. I think that I, if I find the story, I'll, I'll put the source up here. But um, but Florida, I think, did something like that too. And uh, so this is a good thing. But how demonic is it, my friends, that the hill that the Democrats want to die on is not killing rapists? That 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 is your hill. That is like, you know what? You're going to vote for me. I'm going to prevent your neighborhood rapist from getting put to death. Like that's like that's your that's your thing. And you're up there proudly on the stand uh, in front of all these people saying, we're not going to put to death these pedophiles. Like, bro, what's so weird? And she used all these weird liberal talking points for that. Anyway, keep playing it. I, I'm, I'm loving this. Fourth, from Mountain City to Memphis, if you rape a child in this state, you are forfeiting your own That's life. That's right. Period. Once again, I, I'm not trying to negate the lived experiences of these survivors of violent crime. I'm not. But... Don't you feel if a young child knows that their abuser is going to de receive the death penalty, that it would deter them from Pause reporting? Pause it. Oh, right, my goodness. Gracious. Oh, my goodness. Great. Did y'all just hear what she just said? Did y'all hear what she just said? She just used the victim 
as the as the argument for not putting the death the rapist. Okay, this is what she just said. Hear hear her what she just said. She just asked him a question. She she asked him, "Do you not believe that if you if the child knows that their rapist would be put to death if they're convicted, that it would deter the child from reporting it?" I'm sorry, but if I get raped and I know that if I report this guy to the police that I, he will be out of my life, a.k.a. dead, you think that's going to deter me from telling someone? Ma'am, the only thing that's going to deter me from telling someone is that I don't, and I, and I know I'm not going to receive justice, and he's still going to be out there, and he's going to come back and get me and do what he did to me again based on what I just did. Because I reported him, he's going to get mad and come back and do it to me again. He's going to seek me. He's going to seek me out and find me. He's going to stalk me. If he did it once against the law, you don't think he's not going to do it again in spite of what I just did to him? What a, st what a stupid, what a stupid comment. What a stupid comment. I don't believe that there are stupid people. I just think that there are people that consistently make stupid comments and she's one of them that is very dumb you are dumb like that is stupid okay like the bible says that fools find it uh, fools the bible says that those who believe it is an abomination to depart from evil are fools okay so it says in proverbs okay and this lady who who probably believes that rape raping is an abomination refuses to punish it refuses to um declare that we do something about this and depart from this evil which makes her a fool anyway keep playing it this is insane i want to see what he has to say about this my sister and i were abused by my father from a very young age i just wanted you to know that i appreciate you pushing for the death penalty i don't think it will stop people from telling about their abuse thanks and then she lists her name she's lived it i trust her Right. I mean, you, I trust you, you her can too. read testimonies again and again across the state, but but the state intervening to kill a human being does nothing to deter the crime. It does nothing. Pause it. To Pause it. Did y'all hear what she just said? She said the state killing a human being or allowing you to kill a human being does not help. The, does not solution anything. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know where I'm going with this. <laughs> she is a Democrat who supports the killing of innocent human beings in the womb. So this is the conclusion that we've reached. Kill the innocent human being in the womb. Don't kill the rapist. Got it. Keep playing it. Keep playing it. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Kill oh, yeah. the survivor. The state is intervening as a violent actor and ending a human oh. life, which is not pro-life. And I'm not Whoa. defending these individuals. I'm not. Pause it. She said the state intervening to kill these human beings is not pro-life. Bro. Bro, she is a Pharisee. Like, she is a hypocrite. Like, I have never seen someone... I've never seen something go over someone's head so, like... I am blown away. I haven't watched this whole thing. I've only, I only saw the first, literally, like, 20 seconds when that guy read off the... Uh, I was like, I got to send this to Micah. Um, this is actually... This is insane. <laughs> this is crazy. She accused us of not being pro-life. For supporting the death of a rapist. Yet she believes she's pro-life for supporting the death of an unborn human baby. Do you guys see the hypocrisy in this? The foolishness? The arrogance? Keep keep going. Keep playing it. Sounds like she's defending this rapist, huh? I'm gonna she has no words. the ground to my colleagues. Thank you. Clear, Lambert. Oh, no. Good. We're not done yet. For almost oh. 50 years, I've been praying for Tennessee to issue the death penalty for child We'll pause abuse. it. Whoa. Whoa. This dude. Who is this guy? Micah, who is this? 
Huh? You'll find out. Okay, thank you. Dude. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. She said she tried to defer to her colleagues. She tried to step down for a little bit. Said, you know what? I'm done. He said, <laughs> this dude came and said, oh no, we're not done yet. And he proceeds to read another testimony of someone thanking him, a victim of this sexual trauma, thanking him for finally bringing justice to these pedophiles, to these horrible people, these sinners, these, these, these reprobates, okay? And shame on her for running from this conversation, first of all. But second, man, kudos to this guy. I, I got to find out who this guy is. He's, I, I'm following him immediately. Like, this, this guy is amazing. Anyway, uh, keep... William Lambert? Lam okay, Lambert. Lambert. Okay. Wow. Amazing. I love that guy. I keep playing. This, this just got real heated. Go ahead. Play it. Most people do not understand. The child's life has been killed in the direction it was headed. No amount of therapy can change that. Yes, therapy right. can help the victim go forward in life, but the life they would have had before is now dead. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart and soul, a mom and grandmama. Amen. The atrocities that they have suffered deserve the severest of punishment. If the death penalty is an option in any case, it should be an option for those that rape children. In favor of Senate Bill 1834, as amended, vote I when the bell rings. Those opposed, vote no. As every member voted, does any member wish to change their vote? Mr. Clark, please take the vote. I 77, 19 nays, one present, I'm voting. Senate Bill 1834, I received a constitutional majority. I hereby declare pass by objection, most weeks here is table. It's cool. So the bill passed by far, wasn't even close, but, uh, and so now in Tennessee, like, obviously there is a death penalty for child rapists, not just any rapist, my friends, not just any rapist. Okay. Don't get that out. Don't get that. Even though I think it should be for all rapists. I'm not saying that it shouldn't be, but this bill is just, I just feel like if there should be a death penalty, this is the easiest one. Your child gets raped. Your rapist gets put to death. Very easy. Very easy. Okay. Um, and you know, I just don't see how a Democrat can oppose this. Yet all 19 people who opposed it were Democrats. Not one single Republican opposed it, which, oh, that is such a relief. Because all the time on this show, y'all know me, I love to talk crap on Republicans. As a conservative, my favorite thing to do is talk crap about Republicans. But I got to give y'all kudos, man. I got to give that guy some credit, bro. That was clean. He cooked her. He cooked her hard. Um, and she got fried, and I feel bad for her um, in that sense that she's just so deceived. She's so, she's, she's so lost that it has now all this has gone over her head. But I don't feel bad for her in this sense, that she got what was coming to her, bro. And <laughs> ain't no way, ain't no way people should be voting for that woman at all. Like, there's no reason why she should be anywhere near our bills. Our, our our house or anything that was epic let me know what you guys think about the death penalty in general obviously child rapists i don't think there's much of a debate in the comment section but in the comment section let me know how do you guys feel about you know these uh these death penalty bills that are kind of going on i know in tennessee they just passed it i'm pretty sure they passed one in florida as well and if you guys are confused on whether or not the death penalty is biblical or not i would encourage you guys to read Romans 13, okay, where Paul kind of breaks down the role of government. And the role of government is summarized as this. They are to do as God wants them to do. And what they're what the government's here to do is obviously protect the people, but they're also here to serve justice, right? The Bible says that they, they do not bear the sword in vain, okay? So if they prosecute an innocent person, there's blood on their hands, obviously. If they prosecute someone who is worthy of the death penalty, and they and they give them the death penalty. Well, that's that's justice, and they've done well, I believe, in the in the sight of the Lord. You know, and then that's the government's role. I don't believe that it's our role to go out and kill child rapists. That's not how justice works, and that's not what the Bible tells us to do. But I would say 
as a father, I mean, I'm not a father, but if I were to be a father and I and I and, and there was a child rapist that I'm not a father yet, Micah, I, you know, uh, <laughs> if there was a child rapist in my local area, I would let you know that I'll be doing everything in my power to prosecute that man. All my money, time and resources would be going towards that. And the prosecution would be at the very minimum death penalty. You're done. You're out of here. You know what I'm saying? And so God bless Tennessee. And I think Florida, I think Florida, but God bless Tennessee Republicans for that. That was really good. Anyway, I, I, I think I beat the dead horse on this. Uh, last thing I'll say, my friends, again, if you want to stop supporting the left, AKA these, these Democrat, these, these pedophile loving, these weird sexual perversion, these sexual perverts, stop supporting these people with your money and your, and, and, and your resources and your time, give your time, money and support to companies that love your values, that support the first and second amendment, that support the sanctity of life, that support our military and police force and veterans and our heroes and go to patriotmobile.com slash herd use code herd for free activation they'll take care of you they have a 100 percent us-based customer service team that is amazing so again patriotmobile.com slash herd or 972-patriot go support them i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching have a good rest of your week and god bless Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and X. And be sure to hit that follow button and that join button if you're here on Rumble. It'll take you over to our local channel where you can further support the show and get access to additional content. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and that like button. And if you're listening on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, whatever you're listening on, give us a five-star rating and share with your friends and family. Again, thank you guys so much and God bless.